Hey guys, this is Christian DeLupa here for Digital Trends with the new LeEco Pro 3. Now this kind of represents LeEco's big push into North America. It's a new flagship phone uh, boasting top of the line specs. For example, it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 processor, which is really top of the line. All the, you know, the latest flagships for this year feature a Snapdragon 821. On top of that, you'll get a cool four gigabytes of RAM, which is also pretty flagship quality. Um, there's not many devices out there that have more than four gigabytes of RAM. Um, and you'll get 64 gigabytes of storage. So there's plenty of room on there for your music and your videos if you choose not to use cloud storage. Now, the screen on this phone is 5.5 inches big. Um, or five, yeah, it's 5.5 inches. Uh, we don't know the resolution just yet, but I have to say it, it does look very nice. Um, you know, I can't really see the pixels. Um, it's very bright, the blacks are deep. You know, it's a very nice looking display. Um, on top of that, we've got the design of the phone, which is very simplistic. It's very HTC-esque. Um, we've got the unibody aluminum uh, look here. Um, quite simple. Uh, it's, it's about 0 0.29, not about, it's exactly 0 0.29 inches thick, um, which is very thin. Um, although that thickness does seem a little bit, um, you know, it seems a little thicker than it actually is, which is largely because of the kind of blocky look here. Um, but you know, in the hand it feels pretty good, it doesn't feel too thick at all, and it's pretty light. Um, so on top of the processor, RAM and storage, we also have the battery and it is a whopper of a battery in here. It's a 4,070 milliamp hour battery um, and Leico said that it'll last a pretty hefty 33 hours of talk time. Now for comparison, the iPhone lasts about 20 21 hours of talk time. That's the iPhone 7 Plus. So, you know, we got a really big battery in here. Um, should offer plenty of juice to get you through the day. Um, on top of that, we have quick charging, so it'll get, it'll get you fully charged from zero to 100% in about an hour. Um, which, you know, it sounds like a lot, but considering how big the battery is, that's not much at all. Um, now, apart from hardware, we're also taking a look at the software, and it's clear that Leico is really trying to push its software in its phones. Um, it's an Android-based phone, but... Uh, you'll notice that there's a few differences. For example, if we swipe left here, instead of seeing Google Now, which we might see on some major uh, Android phones, or especially stock Android phones, we have Look View, which is basically the Eco's version of Google Now, kind of. It's, it's, it's kind of a news aggregation app, it looks like. Um, we've got different categories here to choose from, news and politics, um, uh, lifestyle, etc. Um, now, on top of that, we also have your standard Leigo apps, um, like, like a look. Um, and we have, in the place of where you might find the app drawer in some, in some Android phones, we have Live, which is basically a live video um, app. It shows you, you know, different live feeds. You can look at movies, you can look at, uh, you know, live video, lifestyle, TV shows, etc. So, yeah, it's kind of an interesting spot for a live video app, um, especially considering the fact that, you know, live video probably isn't central to an, how an Android phone works, but it's kind of a nice feature nonetheless. Um, so yeah, that's the LitEco Pro 3. It's a very nice phone, as you can probably tell. It looks nice, it feels nice. Um, the software is kind of cool. Um, it's, it's probably best for someone who's willing to jump straight into the LitEco ecosystem, uh, rather than someone who's looking to stick with someone else because, because of how LitEco presents its apps and, and its services within the phone. Um, thanks for watching. Again, this is Christian DeLupa here for Digital Trends with the Le Eco Le Pro 3, and we'll see you next time.